Well, with the work so far tested, we're ready to proceed with the final assembly of all the acrylic parts. I would recommend uh, not only removing the power, but at this point, just to protect the micro SD card, remove that and the ESP32, just so that you don't do anything crazy like break off the Wi-Fi antenna. I did manage to snap an SD card in half somewhere along the way. Now there's the easiest way and then the harder way to do this. The easiest way is to juggle things such that this piece of black acrylic, the PCB and the spaces in between don't become separated. The black acrylic is designed to lift off it completely if you need to get inside to the PCB to, to fix anything. But putting it back on and getting it around all the switches is fiddly and if it can be avoided, you should work to avoid that. So if you follow my technique here, everything should go quite smoothly. The first thing will be to loosen all of the um, socket screws and nuts without completely removing the nuts at first. Just back them off right to the limit before they're removed. Now, you need to support the assembly so that the bolts are sitting down flush with the black acrylic. If you've kept that piece of cardboard to hand, tuck it in behind the switches and maybe just using some tape, secure it over the black acrylic and this is just going to hold all the bolts in place while you finally make the final, um, remove the nuts. So I've got that cardboard tucked in behind the switches, a little bit of tape to hold it there, and that will hold the bolts in place. Then just get around and take the nuts off.
and stand the assembly over. Removing the piece of card. And now you can carefully set it down on your work surface. And the aim from here, in fact, it's worth just, no, that's fine. The aim from here is to remove the bolts without letting anything else move. That way, the spaces and the PCB are gonna remain perfectly aligned as they are. If you need to put something underneath just to support that, stop it from rocking. Now, without bumping that assembly, get the thick piece of acrylic because that's the surface that the bolts go through first. So reinsert the eight socket screws through the six mil clear acrylic, making sure you have it oriented with the near, the, the pair of near holes, the holes that are closest to each other at the right hand end, as they are on the black acrylic and the PCB below. Now again, we want to stop these bolts falling out when we invert this. So again, I'm inclined to use the card, just holding it together and flipping it over and supporting it underneath with my hand. Obviously, the first thing to go behind the acrylic is the text, the black and white text face here with the text towards the sheet of acrylic. That's a little more rigid, so it slots on easily. Immediately behind that sheet goes the red filter and I must be in a hurry. I keep getting it wrong. That drops down over the bolts. This now needs to be inserted through the black acrylic nine mil spaces in the PCB. So we want to flip it again. It's where the cardboard, oh, I let go. Over again. Holding it all together and flipping it over and getting the cardboard out of the way. So, don't let the bolts fall out and lower this down onto the black acrylic. Just getting around and juggling those bolts into the holes, passing through the spaces and the PCB. Done. So while that might have looked fiddly, that's a whole lot simpler than it can be if you happen to separate the black acrylic and the PCB and have to re uh, realign all of those nine mil spaces. You're gonna to need to pick up the cardboard again, or in fact, this time, it might be a good idea to use tape to put, to hold all the bolts in place. Divide up this tape a bit.
I'd probably use the cardboard myself, but I'm just demonstrating the alternate technique. Some tape, hold that sandwich firmly together. And go and find the normally clear sheet of acrylic that makes up the back with these cutouts. Now this is white because it still has its protective plastic sheet. So I'll remove that. And then get the orientation right for that to be lowered over the components and sit in with the hex cutouts sitting above the bolts. Now you need those, ah, sorry, we've forgotten the six mil spacers. So let's just backtrack. We need to lower the six mil spacers into place. then put the acrylic sheet down. Just because of a little flexing in the circuit board and the acrylic, it's gonna, it's gonna look like everything's not gonna reach at this stage, but it will come together. Now, those hex cutouts are designed to uh, just have a little press fit to, and should hold on to the hexagonal nuts for you. The sort of washer flange on the edge of the nut sits on the back outside of this acrylic sheet. If you experience that these nuts start to pop out before you're getting things tightened up, you can go around and secure them in place with some tape before proceeding. I'm pretty confident that I can hold this together without any of those spaces dropping out now. At least I hope so. Again, I could use some tape to clamp it together, but a firm grip in the middle just holds everything in place. Now, don't remove all of your tape at once. Just go one at a time around the bolts and probably with a finger behind the nut, and not too tight, just to make a start, get that first nut holding, and then pick another one. Once you've got a few of the socket screws starting to bite into the nuts, everything will start to become well supported. What's going on here? The nuts popping out. So with those four in the middle, with a reasonable amount of grip, the whole assembly is becoming self-supporting. We can just take our time and move around. As I said, don't do them up tight at this stage, just until you start to feel them firm up.
And there we go. We're pretty much there. Some people would advocate um, using a alternating pattern uh, diagonally and across uh, the face of tightening these up. Don't make them particularly tight, just what I would call finger tight, but you'll find a few of them need an extra half or quarter turn. And there it is, mostly assembled. The only remaining things to do are to put on the metallic finished uh, switch plate, switch surround. Um, there's Velcro in the box to be cut up for that to be done. And then finally uh, putting it inside in the blue lid. At this point, it is designed to be able to stand up, be relatively self-supporting, it would fall over pretty easily with a push, so just be careful about that. Um, the blue lid definitely adds a lot of stability, but right now, if you're feeling impatient, you can get on and play with it uh, and, not, and leave those other components till later.